Hey kids, today we're talking about common fractions and decimals, which are really helpful for me as a sea captain because I have to give out orders such as swab half the deck and for the other two-fourths, give it a fifth of the pan of the coating. Let's go to the drawing board. You know, the thingy-majiggy. All right, here is the most common fraction, one half. Now what does that equal? Well, let's think about this. If I own half of all of the fish that you catch, and you catch two fish, then how many fish do I own? I get one out of every two. Let's say that you catch 10 fish this time, and I still get half of them. Then how many fish do I get? Oh, five, that's right. So that means that I get five out of every 10 fish that you catch. So thank you for donating to the I'm Hungry Fund. So you see what happened there, kids? One half is the same thing as five tenths. Five ten is the same thing as one two. One up here, line, two down here, equals five out of, line again, ten. And it's also the same thing as 50 over 100. And now we're ready to talk about decimals because 50 over 100 is the same thing as 0. 0.5. It's beautiful. 0. 0.5. Let's do it with another common fraction. 1 fourth. Let's say that out of every four fish that you catch, I get one. So how many fish would I get if you caught a hundred fish? Whew, that's right. Again, 20, five. So one fourth is equal to 25 over a hundred. Kids. Do you know what that would be in decimal form? <laughs> That's right! So one fourth equals 0.25. 25 hundredths. Let's do one more um, fraction. One fifth. So if I get one fifth of all your fish and you catch five fish, then I get one of your fish. But if you catch 100 fish, and I get one fifth of, of them, then I get 20. So one fifth equals 20 over 100. Can you put that in decimal form? Ooh, that's right! One-fifth is point two zero, or just point two. Let's have a moment of silence for that zero that was lost at sea. Kids, that is common fractions and decimals. See you next time on Kid Ford Fractions and Decimals. Alike, but different. And yet they come together in one magnificent way that is called Kid Ford Math. Are you studying? <laughs>